I'm standing here with... Brad Varnell from the Infinite Crypto YouTube channel. Nice to meet you, Brad. Nice to meet you too. Couple quick questions. So the first one is, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about investing? Uh, freedom. Freedom? Yep. Do you have any hot takes on crypto? Yeah, man. I think that blockchain technology is, is going to revolutionize the world. I think that very much like the way that computers and cell phones have become an everyday part of our life, even though 20 or 30 years ago, a lot of people didn't really think that they were going to become, you know, anything mainstream. I think we're going to all be using blockchain technology in our everyday life uh, very, very soon. And, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer that we're, we're getting passed by financially. The middle class is slowly getting wiped out and the divide between the poor and the rich, the, the elite is becoming massive. And that one of the only ways that I know of that we can even that gap and help the hard working everyday blue collar, you know, men and women here in the United States and just around the world to, you know, increase the wealth needle in their life and give them a chance to compete in this financial, you know, system that we're all stuck in is cryptocurrency. Uh, I couldn't agree more. What percentage of your portfolio is currently Too in crypto? Ah! Sam Price, Crooked Hey, f***ing awesome. <laughs> Sam, come here, brother. Thank you for hijacking our interview, man. Oh, I had you, I had you. Don't go yeah. too far, brother. We definitely want to, to, to man, see dude. you. Thank you. <laughs> that was Sam Price, Crypto Lifer. Um, what percentage of my portfolio is what? Currently in crypto. Like literally almost 100. I literally take my crypto and when I need money for everyday life, I will put it on, you know, in my CoinZoom account or, you know, someplace where I've got access to, you know, a Visa debit card that I can swipe. So I literally keep almost zero fiat. What percentage of that crypto is Bitcoin? Not a huge percentage. I would say probably, you know, five to 10%. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason for that is I believe that Bitcoin is the end term goal, but I use altcoins to increase my Bitcoin. And so we were just talking about the hard working, you know, middle class everyday folks. Well, most of them can't get rich simply buying Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin, but you're not going to get financially free mm -hmm. buying some Bitcoin unless you have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars already. So I try to teach folks that just have a few hundred here, a few hundred there, a thousand here, a thousand there, how they can do a 25, 50, 100 X on that and get them some distance between zero and wealth, and then they can start putting their money into assets like Bitcoin. How long uh, do you plan on holding your Bitcoin for? Uh, basically forever. I mean, there's so many ways now, and more and more ways are being created where you can use that Bitcoin as a way to borrow against it. You know, like just so many, the wealthy people don't sell their assets. Mm -hmm. They figure out ways to leverage those assets to fund their life and to do the things that they need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, that makes a ton of sense. Uh, what would be uh, the Tesla? Yeah, one fun question. Uh, one Bitcoin or one Cybertruck? One Bitcoin. <laughs> I feel like we're, we're in a place which is universally going yeah, with that I answer. Mean, I guess technically the, the Cybertruck, I don't know if it's worth more than a Bitcoin at this point or not. It is. But if I, if I got given a Cybertruck, I would sell it yeah. and put it into Bitcoin. So I guess I would take the Cybertruck intelligently since it's worth more dollar value than, than the Bitcoin. But it would not be driven and kept in my driveway. I appreciate you taking the time, Brad. Man, it was great, great yeah. meeting you.